Snow Tracks is sponsored by ski Snowmobiles. Experience that ski feeling. Yamaha revs your heart. And by FXR Racing. Maximum versatility for all conditions. Man, I can't believe the 2020 snowmobile season is already coming to an end. Does anybody else feel like we just got started? I mean, I guess I never really seemed to get enough winter, but this winter just seemed to fly right by. The truth is though, so many places around North America had stellar winters. Even here in Ontario, we were able to log big miles and obviously had a great time doing it. Here at Snow Tracks, there's one tradition we observe at the end of each winter season to sort of cap things off, give our final thoughts, give some credit where it's due, stir up a bit of controversy as we usually seem to do. Once again, it's time for us to buckle down, retreat into our safe spaces, and ponder long and hard which sled from this season is deserving of the much coveted Snow Tracks Real World Sled of the Year title for 2020. So look, before we go any further, I just wanna come right out and say something blunt and maybe a little bit insensitive, but it's something that has to be said nonetheless. You as the viewer have every right to disagree with what we say and do around here. You can even be wildly uncreative and accuse us of being biased, but here comes the blunt part. It's not gonna change a thing. None of us here at Snow Tracks got to where we are by selling our opinions or by shaping our opinions to avoid criticism. We simply report the experiences we have with the sleds we have as we have them. Nothing more, nothing less, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. The contestants for this year's Real World Sled of the Year Award were handpicked from the large fleet of test sleds we have at our disposal this season. They all saw considerable mileage by a wide range of riders and were chosen because those riders overwhelmingly agreed they were the best units from their respective manufacturer. They are Yamaha's SRX, Arctic Cat's Riot, Skidoo's Renegade XRS 850, and Polaris's Indy XC Adventure 850. The way we've conducted our Sled of the Year evaluations in the past is to pit each of the contestants against each other. Some of our crew liked that format. Others said it didn't make sense because the sleds weren't all in the same category, so how could they be compared to each other? So this year we're gonna do things a bit different, and in my opinion, more in line with the spirit of what the Softy Award is supposed to represent. We feel that each one of these sleds is the best from each brand. So I'm gonna start off by explaining why we feel that way about each of them. Then at the end, I'm gonna to explain to you why we feel one of them is the best sled on snow this season. Let's get started with Yamaha's SRX. Not just Yamaha's best sled this year, but also, in my opinion, the best lake racer ever, period. The SRX simply oozes performance. With its Genesis 998 turbo power plant producing over 180 horsepower, this sled is more than capable of peeling your eyelids back on command. But the reason everyone in our crew unanimously agrees that the SRX is Yamaha's best sled in 2020 is because it's so much more than just blistering fast. Fox's IQS system combined with Yamaha's new ARCS front suspension setup and SR137 skid frame result in a sled that rides exceptionally well and can be adjusted on the fly as conditions change. Handling is the best we've ever seen from Yamaha, again thanks in large part to that ARCS front end. However, as we've talked about in the past, 
These tuner skis stop this sled from handling as excellent as we know it could. Ergonomically, the SRX is comfortable. Overly low and soft seat foam are something we do have to gripe about here. One thing no one is complaining about though is how it looks. The SRX is just a mean looking sled. It looks like it's ready to pounce on anything that gets in its way. The all black color scheme also greatly appeals to my all black everything preference. It's stupid fast, comfortable, rides great, and it looks awesome. When asked what they thought was Yamaha's best sled this season, everyone in our crew picked the SRX without hesitation. The next sled on the list is Skidoo's Renegade XRS 850. Now there is a lot to love about this sled, but there are a few specific things that we think make this Skidoo's best sled in 2020. For starters, and I'm sure unsurprisingly to most, it's the rear end ride quality. Now I still think our motion is the best riding rear skid. It's even better as a 137 and better yet again with XRS package shocks. Big bumps, small bumps, hard hits, mellow rollers, there is nothing this skid frame can't all but erase. And there were days this season that I was super glad my butt was parked directly above it. Front end ride quality is the best you can get from Skidoo. Again, thanks in large part to those XRS package shocks. Now with that said, even with the shocks, the front end of this sled doesn't ride or handle on par with the rest of its competition. We love how this sled starts and idles. It's so precise and effortless. And while we do feel clutching is way too abrupt and jerky, the power of Skidoo's 850 E-Tech engine can't be denied. It's both a monster and exceptionally refined all at the same time. Skidoo has always been revered in their attention to detail when it comes to things like fit and finish and how the user interacts with the sled. Switch gear is slick. The link accessory integration system is the best in the industry by far. And the sled is put together in a way that leaves the owner feeling like they've bought a premium product. Unbeatable rear end ride quality, an excellent motor, and the industry's best accessory integration system and best fit and finish make the 2020 Renegade XRS an easy pick for Skidoo's best offering this season. Polaris has taken top honors in Snowtrax TV's real world sled of the year competition for a couple years running now. This was largely due to near perfect ergonomics and industry leading front end ride and handling. Last season, Polaris introduced their Indy XC lineup with its Pro CC rear skid frame, which quickly became very strong competition for Skidoo's R motion. They also released the Patriot 850 engine package that, thanks to its unreal bottom end grunt, raspy attitude, yet unparalleled smoothness and refinement, became a Snowtrax favorite almost immediately. For 2020, Polaris gave us a 137 inch version of the Indy XC, and we think, without question, this is the best snowmobile Polaris has ever built. Front end ride quality is every bit as good as last season's shorter Indy XC, but the extra track length has actually improved how the sled handles. It's more predictable, more precise, and more confidence inspiring than ever. Likewise, the extra length of the 137 Pro CC skid frame further improves rear end ride quality with the added benefit of increased traction. Ergonomics are unchanged, therefore still the best in the industry, and the Patriot 850 engine gives us the same goosebumps it did last season every time we pull the trigger. Our XC137 came in adventure trim, and while I definitely do appreciate the increased storage, the tunnel bag that's included with the adventure, in my opinion, is a little bit lame. The old ProRide-based adventure had cool, removable, hard case saddlebags that gave an adventure bike feel to a sled designed with the same type of user in mind. The tunnel bag on the Indy 137 is just a tunnel bag. A nice one, but it's not even removable. Even in light of its tunnel bag, our entire crew agreed that this Indy 137 is an improvement over last season's already incredible Indy XC, which makes it a pretty easy choice, in our opinion, for the best sled you can get from Polaris in 2020. Arctic Cat's Riot was the company's biggest piece of news this year, and we think it was an incredibly smart move to offer it in two versions, the regular Riot and the Riot X. After riding both along with a number of other 2020 Arctic Cat models, it quickly became clear that the more crossover focused Riot was the Arctic Cat sled to have this season. The full trail width front end is Arctic's new ARS2 setup, and there's not a person in our crew who doesn't think this is the best riding and handling front end Arctic Cat has ever built. 
It steers predictably and it's more precise than anything that's come before it. Ride quality is excellent even when speeds get high and the bumps get big. The rear end of the ride is Arctic's new 146 cross action unit designed to be an on off trail hybrid skid frame much like Polaris's IGX 144 found in the Assault. This cross action skid does exactly what a crossover skid frame should do. It provides excellent on trail ride quality and behaves extremely well off trail as well. Most of our crew has even gone so far as to say that they think the 2020 Riot is the best riding snowmobile Articat has ever built, which is a pretty bold statement. While Arctic's 8000 series power plant is not the most powerful in its class, it really is an impressive motor and once you're out on the trail, you tend to forget that it's not an 850 anyway. Ergonomically, the Riot does leave something to be desired thanks to its mountain seat that's too low, too soft and tapered toward the rear but it's not something that's an unlivable situation. Excellent front and rear ride quality, great handling, and a surprisingly impressive engine made the Riot an easy choice for our crew when it was time to decide which Arctic Cat sled was the best this season. Snow Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto. Make it work. So now you know why we picked these four sleds. They all have their strong points and they all have their weak points. They also all fit into either the trail or crossover classifications because that's how most of the crew at Snow Tracks rides. What we need to do now is decide which of these four sleds is the best of them all. They are all great and any one of them would be an awesome choice for someone shopping in the trail or crossover segments. But at the end of the day, one of them has to be the best. And this season, the choice was easier than ever. One of these sleds stood out above the rest, not just as the best sled this season, but as the best sled we've ever ridden. The decision was, for the first time in the history of Snowtrax TV's Real World Sled of the Year competition, entirely unanimous amongst all of our crew and test riders. Polaris's 2020 Indy XC850 Adventure is the best riding, best handling, most comfortable and most fun snowmobile any of our crew has ever ridden. Now I know a whole bunch of you are gonna run away screaming bias and that we're paid by Polaris, but as I said earlier, that's not gonna change a thing. Our decision this season was the easiest one we've ever made. It had nothing to do with who pays us more or some underlying bias towards one brand or another. There are attributes of a snowmobile that make it great, handling characteristics that are more desirable than others, ride characteristics that are more comfortable than others, engine characteristics that are more exciting than others and Polaris's Indy XC137. Not just the adventure, but in any trim level, embodies them all to a T, which is why we have absolutely no hesitations in naming it the 2020 Snowtrax TV Real World Sled of the Year. Well, it's that time of the year again where Snowtrax hands out a special award for the coolest new technology available during the current season. We call it the Revolutionary Advanced Design Award, or RAD for short. While we typically pick a technology that has a full season of proving itself under its belt, as long as it's released during the current season for consumers, we consider it in contention for the RAD Award. And this year, there was a latecomer to the party that left a big mark. Skidoo's 850 turbo two-stroke motor has been a breakthrough in the high altitude category, and not just an industry first, but a first ever with a factory turbo two-stroke. Utilizing a dual intake path with a mechanical pressurized close-off, the 850 turbo is able to naturally aspirate until the turbo builds enough pressure to overcome natural aspiration with boost. This dual intake track and electronic turbo control allows the motor to deliver zero turbo lag something most other aftermarket turbos experience at any altitude, and a seamless delivery between natural aspiration and boost. This new motor produces its 165 horsepower up to 8,000 feet and continues to make a constant 40 horsepower gain over its naturally aspirated 850 counterpart at altitudes above 8,000. And while on paper it looks great, it's my first hand time behind the handlebars experiencing the benefits that gives us the great pleasure of awarding Skidoo with the 2020 Snowtrax Rad Award for the all new 850 E-Tech Turbo.
Some of the biggest news from this season was no doubt the introduction of the 850 E-Tech Turbo and the late release of a limited build Summit. And while this season isn't quite over, we do have a 2021 Summit 850 Turbo Expert available to us to use. So for today, I'm gonna run it through its paces and see if this 2021 sled has made a difference from when I got to test the 2020.5s earlier this season. Right up front, there's nothing new to note when it comes to changes. The sled stays the same from last season, and Skidoo's had good success with the turbo motor holding together, so there's no reliability things that we need to tell you about. For 2021, Skidoo expanded the turbo into the Freeride and Summit lineup, so now you can spring check a Summit or a Freeride with the turbo engine. While many of the Freeride buyers we interact with don't typically ride their sleds at big altitude, the benefits here are limited. However, for those free riders who do want the extra power, or possibly the extra bragging rights, the option was made available. With the dual intake track of the 850 Turbo, you really do have a seamless integration of normal aspiration as well as turbo boost, and it's way more seamless and smoother than any other aftermarket turbo we've ever tested. Now, keeping in mind the horsepower is dramatically reduced over an aftermarket turbo kit that offers 200 plus horsepower at nearly all elevations, you're getting the reliability of a factory turbo and still benefiting from a reasonable amount of power and a slight increase over the non-turbo 850 when riding at lower elevations. You just have to decide if the extra cost is in your budget and if you ride at altitudes above 6,000 feet enough to justify going in this direction. Now here's something for you to think about. If you compare this 165 3-inch Summit Expert to a 163 850 3-inch Pro RMK, the difference in cost ain't chump change. It's about 4,000 bucks American and five grand Canadian. Keep in mind there is a significant weight increase to go turbo as well. When compared to other brands like the Pro RMK, you're looking at quite sizable digits. Sure, extra power is going to help, but for years, the weight game has been everything in the mountains. And while actual numbers are hard to find at this point, we are seeing anywhere from 35 to 50 pounds being the penalty that you're gonna pay to have a turbo over the other brand's comparable length and lug sled. So it really does come down to how you plan to use the power on the turbo. If you're riding at altitudes under 5,000 feet, this thing isn't gonna open your eyes very much. But when you go above, that's where it starts to shine. And truly, that's the area I feel this sled was built for. It's not a foothill sled, because there's no benefit. It's a big altitude, big powder sled that's able to deliver more power at a greater range of altitudes from the factory with reliability. Now you may argue that companies like Silver have come a long way and are very reliable, as well as offering 40 to 50 more horsepower over this factory turbo, but this is as simple as walking through the dealership door and pulling out your credit card. No install time, no warranty issues, just riding. And a 40 horsepower increase over the normally aspirated 850 E-Tech all the time above 8,000 feet. And when you're riding above 8,000 feet elevation on the 850 Turbo, the one outstanding feature that you're gonna notice most is the ability to lift those front skis whenever you want to. And when you're riding in deep powder, that can be a hard thing to do with a non-Turbo 850. But with the track speed of the Turbo, it lifts up and onto the snow so much easier. The increased track speed also helps you in trenching conditions when you may otherwise get stuck. The Turbo continues to push snow and inch its way along probably the most noticeable area for me where the power really takes over is high altitude, low speed approach climbs, where you need to not only build track speed, but increase it as you climb. The turbo doesn't hesitate at all and is able to clear out even heavier snow from the 165 three inch lug track and still build speed rapidly, even while climbing. It's really quite impressive. Now I know I haven't said much about the rest of the sled, but when you compare it to the 2020.5 late release, it's because there's nothing that's changed. But so I don't miss the opportunity, you've got the expert package benefits, which include the shorty seat and tunnel, the no flap snow flap, three inch lug, Kashima coated shocks, limiter strap adjuster, and a revised spindle and stopper. Now when you go turbo, you also get the one piece lightweight hood that incorporates what used to be multiple pieces, parts, and fasteners into a 6.2 pound savings of weight and gives the turbo its own unique look with the sleeker, more profile design 
that's easy to pick out of a group of summits. However, for 2021, you can get this on the regular summit as well. The design is different and has been a love or hate for consumers, but the benefits of the lightweight hood are real and also allow for extra engine components needed to fit the turbo inside the summit chassis. When it boils down, you do have real benefits from the 850 E-Tech Turbo. Anytime that you're above just a few thousand feet, it's making more horsepower than its normally aspirated counterpart. When you go above 8,000, it's producing very real results. Snow Tracks has been sponsored by Polaris Snowmobiles, MBRP Performance Exhaust, Race Inspired, Trail Proven, and by Hercules Tire, Ride on Our Strength. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.